Chris, a 1-0 win over air. Um, here's the Somerset Park. What were your thoughts on that game overall? Yeah, delighted. I'm absolutely delighted for everybody. Um, coming off the back, obviously, this week, it was important that uh, we, we got the result. That's the, the main thing. But, you know, we put a good performance on as well. Um, in, in tough conditions, especially second half, um, the conditions, but we knew they were going to turn. They knew the wind always gets up here at, at Somerset. Um, so it was going to be a different second half to what it was in the first half. Um, hence why we, we changed the shape. But um, I thought we executed our game plan to an absolute tee. And like I say, that's, that's credit to the players because they're the ones that have to go out and actually execute it themselves. Yeah, you mentioned the phrase game plan. I mean, it's been a whirlwind week, so I can't imagine it's an ideal preparation. But do you feel like you did take on board the things you were trying to get to? Yeah, of course. And there still has to be a game plan. You know, it's, it's not as if just because the, the week's been tough that there can't be a game plan. That fans turn up, they deserve to see a game plan put in place out there. Um, and like I said, the players, to me, delivered everything that was asked of them. Everything we went over during the week, they, they delivered that. So, um, again, they were a credit to themselves and to the club. So. But like I say, I'm just delighted for everyone. Um, this is a real team effort. For, for me, this is a team effort because people behind the scenes are having to work ever so hard and go above and beyond what their, their normal jobs are. Um, and likewise, the players are having to give that bit extra. Um, and I think you see that, you know, even when the chips are down, the players are still working, that they're going down with injuries, they want to stay on even though that they're struggling. Um, and I think that that's a mark of the way the team's starting to think now. Yeah, you mentioned injuries, obviously five minutes in, Anton Douds goes down, it's one he couldn't continue with. Um, how do you feel reacted to that? Yeah, brilliantly, a great reaction. Horrible to see anybody go down injured. Um, hopefully the, the big man will get assessed and it won't be too bad, uh, I'm hoping. But, you know, I'm delighted for Danny Mullen because, you know, as, as a forward, you just need an opportunity uh, and you've got to grab it. And, and that's exactly what he done. Um, I told him to get in the six-yard box. All the goals are scored in the six-yard box. Um, he gets in there, it's delivered and, and he finishes it. Um, so there's nothing better if you're a forward and you get that opportunity and you take it. Um, and you know Antoine Dows will, will get fit again, he'll get back in. Um, and there's real competition I think that's, that's the important thing. There's depth there, but with a full squad there's real competition for places. And we had that lead going into half time, how did you feel we sort of came out and dealt with the second half? Yeah, well, like I said, we knew the second half was going to be different to the first. Um, we knew they were going to keep throwing high crosses in from all, all angles. Um, and that's why we went to three at the back, to put three big lads in there to deal with all the high balls. Um, Connor brings a bit of pace as well um, for recovery. So, But I thought, again, that, that game plan, the, the, the boys, they're the ones that have to go out there and, and do it. Um, and then, you know, I thought defensively for, for the full game, Holt, Muirhead dominated the, the game um, for me start to finish. And even though they get tired near the end, they're still driving other players on. Um, and then you, you see the midfield working side to side and um, they know we've given up the wide area so they're out there side to side um, and I'm ever so pleased for them because they have to work so hard but they get the rewards by getting three points. And we talked before the game about the connection to the players and the fans and how important that can be and, and they were noisy all game long weren't they? Oh the fans were brilliant, we were just talking about it there you know from start to finish uh, and I said uh, in the press b before the game they make a difference, they, they all, at this club they, they make a huge difference and it's just great to see players and fans connecting because to me that's that's what this football club's all about um, and you know you see them away happy at the end and um, likewise the players are away happy and, and to me that's job done. And now that's sort of step one it's into another big week ahead of another big game. Yeah and you know I've just said to the press there that there's another big game just comes thick and fast and um, yes the boys will go away and enjoy their, their day off and their recovery and then they'll come back in on Monday and start to prepare for the next game because that's the, the mentality you have to have um, as a footballer at this club that you know, you're ready for whatever comes next and we'll be well prepared for it as well. Well done to those. Cheers, thank you.